good afternoon today we are going to see that is question from spu question papers that is on unit number 3 already in last video we have seen some questions uh, from 2019 question paper now we are with 2022 june july 2022 problems we have from this question paper now we are now covering the questions which are in this portion not for space that we will go later so now uh, you can go to civil engineers technical hub youtube channel in that if you will go to playlist in this you will come across engineering mechanics and in this you will come across these videos so you can refer these videos to solve the questions from question papers so now we have a question that is a ball of weight w that is 53.4 newton rests in a right angle trough as shown in figure determine the forces exerted on the sides of the trough at d and e assume all surfaces are perfectly smooth so we know our reaction is always normal or i can say perpendicular to the surface at the connection or we can say where it touches so this will be perpendicular to this now if you will see you have this angle as 30 so this angle you will get this as 60 degrees because this angle is 90 degrees means if i will draw it separate to a larger scale then we have like this so my reaction is acting at this point let us my point is d and this angle is given 30 degrees so if you extend this then angle of rd will be 60 degrees then similarly you can have this c so if we will draw in uh greater scale then you have this as 60 degrees perpendicular to this again so if you will draw this line if you extend this line then you will get this angle that is equal to 30 degrees so this we have r e and then my weight is acting now your weight will be at the point where these two intersect because this is problem from concurrent force system so 53.4 newton so now if i will draw this diagram then we have this reaction rd then we have this reaction re so this is rd we have re and this we have 53.4 now we have this angle rd with horizontal is 60 degrees so re we have 30 degrees so now if we will apply summation fx equal to 0 we have rd cos 60 minus re cos 30 equal to 0 and the second equation we can write fy equal to 0 so we have rd sin 30 plus re sorry sin 60 rd we have angle as 60 degrees so rd sin 60 plus re sin 30 minus 53.4 equal to 0 so this is equation number 1 and then we have this equation that is R D sine sixty plus R E sine thirty, and that is equal to fifty three point four, which is equation two. And then solving equation one and two. Solving equations one and two. 
So we will get this value after solving as R E R D R D equal to forty six point two five newtons and R E equal to twenty six point seven newton. Now you can use Lamy's theorem, but I already mentioned you have to show forces away from the joint and then only you can use it. So now this is RD. So last time we have committed a small mistake. So this is 60 and then we have re rectified and this is 150. Now this angle of RE we have 30. In total angle, we have 120 degrees. Now again, 30 and 60, 90. So I will get this angle as 90 degrees. And then we can have RE upon, now angle, we have this 150. Sine 150 equal to RD upon this angle, sine 120 which is equal to 53.4 upon sine 90 and we know sine 91 so we will get value of re 26.7 newton and we will get rd 46.25 newtons so just i will check it in one minute 53.4 into sine of 150 Yes, 26.7 and then sine 120 into 53.4, so 46.25 Newton. So likewise, you can solve, you can use Lamis, but you should be very careful with Lamis theorem. Otherwise, you can go equilibrium equations, Fx0 and Fy0. Then we have, this will be determine the support reaction of beam loaded and supported as shown in figure. So now I will just consider this and I will show reaction over here only. So let us, we have reaction at A. So I will draw this reaction. So I have this reaction as RA or I will say mention VA and here I will say VB. Here we have two reactions but my value of HB equal to zero because I do not have any horizontal reaction. Now I will actually make it into two parts. So just a minute. So I will rub this line and then I will draw the line. So exactly from that point, so from here, actually, we have to draw the line. So we have this line. So this is again 600 Newton. And this is 300 Newton. So we can plot this diagram in this fashion now. So 600 we have throughout, so I can plot 600 Newton throughout. So 600 Newton per meter. And then we have three meters somewhere here. And here we have that triangular load. You can use trapezoidal, but trapezoidal again to find X bar is little bit difficult. So we have this will be 300 Newton. Then we have this as three meters. And then we have this also three meters. So now we have total load is acting at this, which will be one half into 300 one half base into height and this will be 450 newtons where it will act it will act at 
L by 3, and that is 3 by 3 is equal to 1 meter. Now, this total will of UDL will act. We have 600 into 6. So, this will be 3600 meter. For simplification, we can use this. This is only for simplification. I am plotting it dotted 3600 Newton and this will be 450 Newton. And this is VA and this is VB. This is one meter. This is three meters. And again, this is three meters. So we can have moment about A equal to zero. So we have 450 into 1 plus 3600 into 3 minus VB into 6 equal to 0. And we will get value of VB that is equal to 1875 newtons. Now we can apply summation Fy equal to 0. So we have VA minus 450 minus 3600 plus VB equal to 0. And therefore we have VA equal to 2175 newtons. So VB we have 1875 and VB we have, sorry, VB 1875 and VA 2175 meters. Then we have a joist of length 4 meter. So if I will draw this, then we have actually, this will be my support. So I have two reactions over there. So if I will plot this, this is not fixed. So we have two reactions. One is vertical and another is horizontal. So this will be A point. So I will write VA and then HA. Then we have this as four meters. So at two meters, its weight will act and weight we have 200 Newtons. And this is cable, which is we have P force. So now if I will draw free body diagram of this, then I have free body diagram like this. So we have this reaction VA. Then I have this horizontal reaction HA. Then vertical will act having value 200 Newton. This will be at 2 meters. Then remaining we have again 2 meters. And then we have this as P. Now we have given, this angle is given 45 degrees. So is it? Yes. So we have this angle. So this angle is 45 degrees. So now taking this angle 45 degrees, We will solve it. So we have 45 degrees. Now we will check moment about A equal to 0. So we have moment about A equal to 0. Now this vertical distance we have. So it will be 4 sine 45. And then this distance we have. So this is horizontal. So we have to consider vertical distance. This is vertical. So we have to consider horizontal 2 cos 45. So we have minus P into 4 sin 45 plus 200 into 2 cos 45 equal to 0. And from this we will get sin 45 equal to cos 45. And therefore, we will get 4P sine 45 equal to 200 into 2 cos 45. 
Now this cos 45 sin 45 gets cancelled to 2s of 4, 200. And therefore P, which is tension in the cable, is 100 Newton. So I can write tension in cable, 100 Newton. Tension in cable equal to 100 Newton. Now we have to find VA and HA. So I will use summation fx0. So we have HA minus P. Or I will write P equal to 100 Newton. So HA minus P equal to 0. And we have HA equal to 100 Newton towards right. Now I can apply summation Fy0, which is VA minus 200 equal to 0. And therefore, VA equal to 200 Newtons. So we have HA 100 Newton and we have VA 200 Newton. So likewise, we have to solve the question. If you have to find RA reaction at A, so this will be root of 100 square plus 200 square. And we will have this value that is equal to 100 square plus 200 square root of answer 223.61 Newton. 223.61 Newton. And theta equal to tan inverse of V by H equal to tan inverse of V we have 200 and H we have 100. And from this we will get theta equal to shift tan inverse 2. And we have this value 63.43 degrees. And therefore if you have to show RA then you can show this RA in the diagram itself. I will show over here. So we have RA equal to 223.61, 223.61 Newton, making angle 63.43 degrees. Then we have next the I joist and uh, this is given. Now this is again a parallel force system. So if we will uh, draw its free body diagram. So I will draw free body diagram on next slide. So we have, this is again a simple problem, 2, 3, 2 2.5. So we have support RD over here. So I will mention VD. Then we have 40 Newton C at 2 meter. So at 2 meter, we have 40 Newtons. Then at 3 meter, we have support B, which is VB. And at 2.5 meters, we have 20 newt kilo Newtons. 20 kilo Newtons. And this point is A. Now this is 40 kilonewtons. Now we will take moment about D0. So we have moment about D equal to 0. So due to 20 anti-clockwise minus 20 into 3 to 5, 6, 7, 7 7.5 plus VB into 5. Minus 40 into 2, and that is equal to 0. And therefore, we will get VB equal to 20 into 7.5 plus 80 divided by 5, 46 kilonewton. Now apply summation Fy0, we will get minus 20 plus, now Vb we have 46 kilonewton. So I will write 46 minus 40 plus Vd equal to 0. And Vd we will get 
14 kilonewtons. Now you can see this. You can find VD by taking moment about V0. Now see, due to 20, we have anti-clockwise. So minus 20 into 2.5. Due to 40, we have clockwise. So plus 40 into 3 minus Vd because anti-clockwise into pi equal to 0. And you can solve from this. So 50 and this is 120. So we have 70. So 120 minus 50 divided by 5 and we will get 14 kilometers. And so you can solve by taking moment also, by taking moment about V also you will get. But preferable you have to take moment where we have support at end. So likewise, we have to solve the problems related with this equilibrium. We will solve again, that is from 2003. If you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe and go to engineering mechanics uh, channel. You will come across more videos related with this. Now I will stop here only. Thank you.